Hello, my friend. This is Clyde. Were you there when Matthew chapter 27 verse 36 says, And sitting down, they watched him there. This is the opening line of a very popular 19th century Negro spiritual sung at this time of the year in numerous settings. The intrigue of this song is what the lyrics do to you. A vivid reconstruction of the death of Jesus is held up right before your very eyes. Depending on who is singing it and where, the lyrics are adjusted for effects. And as you listen to the sound of the song, here comes the piercing refrain. Sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. The song is a conversation. That's what it is. A conversation between the singer and the listener. Do you tremble too when you see them crucify my Lord? Or do you hear another song, beautifully sung, and it means nothing? Today we are being invited to contend with that question. Were you there when? Some people, a varied group of people, they were there. Let's see who they were. The chief priests and elders were there. These are the very religious people, the movers and shakers of the of the town. These are people who observe the religious tenets. They play open, pray openly and give to the poor, but they do so for a show. They were there, but they were the ones who asked for Jesus to be crucified. Yes, they were not trembling because they did not want anything to do with Jesus. Just let us do religion our way for the world to see. They were there. The soldiers of Governor Pilate were there. Roman soldiers on assignment to Palestine. They're not supposed to get involved in the day-to-day -day politics of the country. Their duty is to ensure that order is maintained and Rome is respected. These are guys who could not care who is crucified. It is their job and they did it well. These are people who are not interested in the character and message that Jesus brings. They stripped him of his clothes. They made a crown of thorns and slammed it on his head. They mocked him. They beat him. They gave him vinegar to drink. They nailed him to the cross. And when they were done, they sat around and gambled for his clothes. Some people are not affected by Jesus. He's just one more religious icon who tries to tell people what to do and how to live. But we have choice and we choose to dispose of him. We don't care. Those people were there. Simon of Cyrene was there. This is a man who happened to be in town for personal business. No one invited him to be present on the scene. He was just another face in the crowd who just happened to be in the wrong place at the right time. Wrong place, because if he had stuck to his agenda, he would not have been forced to carry the cross. But he did. He carried the cross of Jesus. Some people, when they meet Jesus, they say, I will do anything for Jesus. Some people would gladly carry the cross because they think Jesus needs help. But does he? Does the Son of God need your help? Simon, he was there. The crowd was there. There were some women, including his mother, who followed and wailed and hollered at the blatant cruelty shown to this young man, Jesus. His mother, Mary especially, must have doubled over in agony as she saw the son she bore being nailed to a cross. A thousand thoughts must have ran through her head, but she could not forget that the angel said to her before she got pregnant that the son she will bear will be called the son of the Most High God, and the Lord God shall give him the throne of his father David. The cross is not a throne. Did she give up hope, or did she hold on to the prophetic words that her son would reign forever? Mary, the mother of Jesus, was there. And so were many other women, and they mourned. Two thieves were, were there that day. Jesus was in fact on the middle cross, dying with two thieves by his sides. They were there because of the crime they had committed. Why were they crucified the same day with Jesus? These thieves represent many people, people who have committed egregious acts, people who lived their lives with no desire to serve God, people who refused to have anything to do with Jesus. But there they were, facing death. In these final hours of life, they have one last chance to consider what to do with Jesus. 
One mocked him and was only interested in Jesus doing a show. Come down and take me down too. The other one, he was mindful of what brought them to this point in their lives. Crime. Sin. He was full of remorse and he saw this as one final chance to get right with God. With all sincerity, he begged Jesus to have mercy on him. Jesus told him that after you die, you will go with me to paradise. Thieves, bad people, they were there too. John was there, the only one of Jesus' disciple. He was there. Jesus called him by his name and asked him to take care of his mother. He was closest to Jesus and he must have felt that he needed to be there with his friend to the end. John is like some people who love Jesus and have chosen to serve Jesus to the end. John was there. Were you there? Yes, you were. We all were there, whether we were for him or against him. You saw what the soldiers did. You saw them kill him and heard the hypocrites mock him. You heard the women, especially Mary, weeping. We all were there. But what will you do with Jesus? Will you reject him? Will you walk away feeling nothing in your heart or will you sit around like the soldiers? In the end, one Roman soldier said, this man was definitely the son of God. Will you say that today and acknowledge that he was there instead of you? He was there because of you and me? Accept his death as God's way of giving you life. Live there today with Jesus in your heart. If this message has left you with questions, please reach out through email to me at friendofclyde at gmail.com and I will gladly respond. We were there.